catch the bug at Doodlebug Sports Evergreen Way. Today we're covering the Push Paintball Goggles. What's up gang? Dusty with Doodlebug Sports here. Today we're looking at the Push Unite Goggles. Um, these things are pretty amazing. The first thing I noticed about them is that they come with a super nice case. Um, a lot of guys end up buying cases separately, so it's going to save you a little bit of money if that's someone, if you're someone who's going to buy a case. Let's open it up and check it out. Um, this is actually the Infamous Skulls Edition Titanium. Um, these are super cool looking. These are probably my favorite style of the push goggles. Um, these ones do have the skull on the face and then also the Infamous strap on the back. Um, with these goggles, they have a lot of really, really cool features. Um, the first one we noticed is going to be the padded strap. If you're a guy that plays NXL, you do have to wear your chin strap during the uh, matches. So these are going to be padded and magnetic, so they kind of clip on super easy. Um, also give you super comfortable soft ears. There is actually a lower extension too that you see above me here. So if you want to have a little bit longer goggle, um, that is also another option. These do also have a quick change lens. Which I'm going to show you how to change here in just a second. All right, so as we get into changing the lens here, um, the first step is gonna be to go ahead and basically remove this little gray piece. And so we do that by actually peeling it from the sides. And it's gonna kind of pop out of there and that actually unlocks the strap to slide forward. So if you can see here, this piece actually just needs to slide forward and this little button's actually part of the lens. So as we push this forward here, we can actually take and then press. You do have to kind of push it hard to get it to go forward and you can actually press the lens out of it. So see how the lens is now released on this side? That's all it takes to actually get the lenses out of them and back in. And then when you put it back in, you wanna make sure that you strap back in place, make sure this gets all the way around it, pull it all the way back so it locks. And again, you do have to pull these a little, little hard. And then you wanna basically take this and the front of it needs to wedge underneath the actual clip. And that's what actually holds the strap in place so it doesn't slide backwards. So we're gonna take and go ahead and wedge that under, get a hold of it. Boom, and that's all it takes to get the lenses in and out of these. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know.